Mm. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Baby, Nana. Tla, tla, tla. Come here, come here, come here. How are you? I haven't seen you long, eh? Hey? Come, 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 come sit, come sit. Yo, my baby. What's happening with your skin? And Shaba, mo, ooh, my baby. Ke acne, ne? It's acne. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, and it just comes out. You never know. You never know what's happening, ne? You know, when I was younger, when I was your age, ne? I only used to use sunlight green bar soap. And whatever cream I had, yo, it worked. No, my skin never used to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My skin never used to do this. Oh, shem. Ugh, but it will be fine, hey. It will be fine. Don't worry. It will be fine. Mm. Mm. It's fine. You can go. I was just, I was just checking, hey. Mm. You can go. All right. Sure. And the skin used to be so beautiful. Oh, shem. Mm. people welcome back to my channel i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i would do things now you can take it as advice use it don't use it it is completely up to you now today's video is highly 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 requested <sighs> have you ever gone through acne have you ever been in a stage in your life where your skin is talala it's beautiful it's stunning it's smooth and then all of a sudden boop Pimple after pimple after pimple after pimple, another pimple, another pimple. You wake up, there's a pimple. Before the end of the day, there's a pimple. After lunch, there's another pimple. And you're just like, <gasps> what is going on, right? Acne is something that I feel like it just springs up on you sometimes. You know, it's, it's just like one minute your skin is fine. And the next thing, there's just an uprising of the pimples. As if they are protesting against something. And you're just like, what is it? Give me a memorandum so I know what's going on. <sighs> acne is very stressful it it hits your confidence you just feel as though you just want to hide until it goes away and what's even more frustrating is when you actually have no clue why you have acne today's video is about acne how to deal with it now when it comes to acne it hits you emotionally it hits you mentally and obviously it's all because it's happening physically so there's a few things that we can do here to not only just get rid of the acne but to also deal with it ourselves from a mental and a physical point of view so that even if we're going through the acne we know we're getting over it we know how to deal with it and we're still keeping confident and loving ourselves throughout the whole journey now if you have any questions that you want to send to me head over to my instagram at kopanashimange and look for this picture right here let me know which questions or scenarios you want me to talk about and i'll get to them now let's not waste any more time let's get into this acne topic because uh, it is quite stressful <sighs> just thinking about it just uh, it brings back so many memories now i've been through my own acne journey before and i can tell you that it it knocked my confidence quite a lot it was a lot to deal with i felt like i could just remove this mask of like pimples and just leave them at home and come back and then i'll put them on at night if they really need to be put onto my face but you can't do that with acne right having gone through an acne journey i know how it feels this was my skin at the beginning of january in 2018 when i eventually came to the conclusion that you know what i've just got to deal with it it's acne at first i thought it's a heat rash it's gonna go away i don't have to deal with it for very long and then the next thing the pimples just kept on getting more they kept on getting bigger and they were definitely not going anywhere so a few months after that about march april that's when i was just like uh-uh something's wrong here i need to fix this now here's a few tips on how you can deal with your acne and how i dealt with it as well talking about the mo the mental the physical and the emotional of getting through the acne and also getting rid of it so the first thing about acne is that you need to take a long-term approach to this let me tell you, when you get acne, you just here. You just want to scrub it off. You just want to rub it off. You're just like, if I rub hard enough, if I exfoliate hard enough, if I just scratch all of this hard enough, it will go. I, I promise it will go. This pimple, this one, here, here, here. 
Sparky is gonna go away. Sparky is not gonna go anywhere if you're gonna scrub Sparky out. And if you're gonna scrub Sparky out, you're going to leave yourself with scarring that takes even longer to get rid of. So you want to take a long-term approach to it. And this more, this has to do with your mentality towards acne. Here's the thing. If you decide that, you know what, I'm gonna take this year and I'm gonna take my time to deal with this acne and I'm gonna deal with it properly, then the rest of your life, you won't have to deal with that acne anymore. But if you're going to take short-term approaches, if you're going to think to yourself, what is the shortest, fastest way that I can just burn it all off and let it go away? You're going to just create other problems. So take a long-term approach to it. It's just one to 12 months, that's it, of just taking your time, getting down to the bottom of it, dealing with it properly, so that the rest of your life you don't have to deal with it anymore. Thing number two is for you to let your skin breathe. This has a lot to do with how you're dealing with acne mentally. If you're not scrubbing off all your pimples, you wanna cover them all up with as much makeup as you possibly can. I went through that, and at some point I was just like, you know what? I'm not helping my skin by always clogging up my pores with makeup the entire time because there's another there's two more steps that I add to my skin routine just to remove the makeup and for all I know that could be the thing causing my acne. So let it breathe. If you have to have makeup on, put it on. But if you have a choice not to have it on, then leave it off. I know mentally you're just like I can't I can't deal with this right now I don't want to see this and I don't want people to judge me I don't want people to ask me about egg I don't know what it is about people when you're walking through the street and they're just like what's happening with your skin and you're just like you know I know I have acne I know I have acne I don't need you to remind me of it I have acne but yeah <sighs> mentally you need to take a decision that you know what I'm going to take as many opportunities as I can to let my skin breathe you're dealing with it and you're dealing with it in your own way. So take a decision that, you know what? If I have to go to church, maybe I'll leave the makeup off. I'm dealing with acne and one day it will be gone. It will be okay. But just for now, let me just let my skin breathe. Number three is how you deal with your acne emotionally. It hits your confidence and it hits it hard. But having acne will force you to look for beauty beyond your skin. It will force you to look at yourself as a person and think to yourself, people aren't hanging out for, with me for my skin. People aren't with me just to see a smooth skin and that is it. There's so much more to me than just this part of my body. Can I look past it? Can I still be happy with the acne that I have right now? Yes, we're dealing with it. Yes, we want it to go away, but we can't hate ourselves during the process. So you have to love yourself even with the acne. Start being happy with it because being stressed is not going to help the acne situation. It may even make it worse. So take a decision that you know what, I know I'm going through some things, I know my acne is acting up, I know my skin is rebelling against me, but I am going to love myself irrespective. Number four is something that we shouldn't have to deal with, but it's another emotional thing that we have to deal with anyway, is having patience with people. Now, if you're a person who's had good skin and then all of a sudden now you have pimples, a lot of people are just gonna be like, what's going on with your skin? And you're just like, mm. we want to be defensive. We want to fight back. We wanna tell them that, listen, you're full of crap for bringing this up. I know I have acne, but reel it in. People don't know how to deal with it sometimes and it's okay. So you need to have all the patience and all the grace for people's reactions towards your skin. It's difficult, I know, I've been through it and people always want to ask questions and have their suggestions. A lot of the times they actually come from a good place and they may not know how to react to it. So be patient with people. They're not being malicious, they just are curious and concerned about your skin. And you're thinking to yourself, it's my skin, it's not your skin. It's my skin, it's not yours, so why? But they're coming from a good place. So try to be as patient as you possibly can. Your good skin is coming. It's coming. So now that we've dealt with it mentally and emotionally, let's get down to the physical. What's going on here and how can we fix this situation? Number five is to get down to the source of the problem. Remember, we're taking a long-term approach to this. So we're going to want to investigate. Put your investigative cap on and think to yourself, where does this come from? Hmm, a good place 
place to start is to look at whatever has changed in your life. Now, when I had my acne, it was a hormonal change that actually caused the acne that I was going through. So I went to my gynae to speak about my hormones. Now, you also have to take a look at your life. It could be your food, it could be your stress situations, it could be your hormones, or it could be your environment. Sometimes when you move from one city to another city or town to town, your skin may react badly to the humidity, maybe the lack of water in the air or the dryness or the climate, whatever it may be, that can cause acne as well. It could be stress. Stressful times in life cause adverse reactions to our bodies. I literally lost half of my hairline when it was time for me to get married. That wedding was stressful and my hairline decided to go bye-bye. Now your skin on the other hand may deal with stress a completely different way. It may be like freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, <sighs> pimples. Your skin may react that way to stress. It may be the food that you have. Do you have enough protein in your diet? Are you taking too much milk or gluten in your diet? Do you have any fiber going into your body? Now, if our digestive systems aren't dealing too well with the food that we're having because our diets aren't balanced, it may affect your skin. And obviously then there's hormones. This can be caused by a whole lot of things. You may be taking contraceptives, you may have a hormone imbalance that means that you need to start taking contraceptives. Or it may be your periods, it may be your body changing. Your hormones as a woman, we go through so much. And all of those hormones going up and down and dealing with it in different ways comes out on our skin. So get down to the root of the problem. If you want to solve your acne problem, you want to stop it from coming out. It's not just about getting rid of what's on top, it's about making sure that once everything on top is gone, no more pimples will come back out. Then number six, you want to find options with dealing with this acne. So when I had my acne, I went to my original gynae and I was just like, dude, whatever plan we have here is not working for me, I've got acne. And his solution was to take additional hormones on top of the hormones I was already taking to fight the acne. And that just didn't sit well with me. So I got a second opinion. I went to another gynae who was just like, listen, let's just get you off this hormone plan. It's not working for your skin. This is what is causing the acne. And if you get rid of it and wait it out, it will all go away. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, if it's a food issue, go see a, a dietitian. If it is something that has to do with the skin products that you're taking, go see a dermatologist. So there are different types of doctors and people that you can consult with, but you want to go see the right person for what you are dealing with. For me, it was hormones and that's why I went to my gynae because I knew that we have to sort out the hormone issue for me to get rid of my acne. It's not just about getting the right products to get rid of my acne. I need to get down to the root cause and pull that thing out from the root so it doesn't happen anymore. Get yourself options. I got myself options and in my second option, that's what ended up working for me. For you, you may have to investigate Look at the food that you're eating, look at the products that you have, look at your life situations, and you may need to consult with different people. Get down to the root of the problem and yank it out, and then the pimples are gonna stop coming. Number seven is understanding that acne actually has phases. So, when I went through my acne journey, it started with something that looked like a heat rash, something like this. That heat rash then continued to develop and those pimples went nowhere. They kept on getting worse and worse and worse. At first, before I found out that it was a hormone imbalance that was causing it, I kept on trying to change the products that I was using and nothing was working. In fact, the pimples only got worse. They went from being tiny, cute little things all over my face to getting bigger and bigger until they got red and juicy. And that was just nasty. That was, that was the point where I was just like, uh-uh, we can't deal with this. Listen, when I found out that I had a hormone problem that was causing that, I went off the hormones that I was on and it balanced it out naturally. So instead of trying to take any additional pills, I did not go on Riakitan, I did not go on any other hormones to balance it out. I let my body balance it out naturally. And that took about seven months for that to happen. But when it did, the acne stopped coming out and then I could deal with it topically. So you have to deal with your acne from an internal point of view, solve the root of the problem, and then you can solve what's on top. Now, by the time I got to this type of acne, I'd already gone off the hormones and my body was starting to balance out. 
but I still had these red disgusting things. So what I did is I started to use a acne specific problem to get rid of the acne on top because I knew that I was dealing with it on the inside. For a little bit of time, Garnier actually worked for me to get rid of the pimples, to just do the topical work because I knew that I was dealing with it from the inside, right? My hormones were starting to get balanced, but the top, my skin, these ugly red things, I had to do something about it. So I took the 3-in-1 Pure Active Garnier Mask Wash and Scrub, I think that's what, what it's called, and that was what worked for me for a short period of time. It got rid of the pimples on top, but after some time, when the pimples started to go away, it started to burn my skin. So that's when I knew I needed to change my product to something that was more gentle. The reason why is because your pimples will go through different phases. So recognize the phase that your pimples are at and take what is necessary for that phase. Phase one is what is happening on the inside. You need to get down to that problem and deal with it. So stop the internal from going wrong. Phase two is then the beginning stages of your acne and what is currently happening, where we are still dealing with the inside, but you still need to take care of your skin. I use something super gentle. I use really, really gentle Nivea products to just make sure that my skin was just hydrated, nothing special, nothing that's gonna burn my skin and super sensitive. I didn't use anything to get rid of the acne then because I was still dealing with it inside. So I just made sure that whatever I was using was gentle enough just to maintain the pH balance on my skin. Then phase three is now when you know that the inside is sorted, you now have to deal with the outside. That's when I started to take acne products for my skin to get rid of the pimples on top because I knew that the inside is being dealt with, now we deal with the outside. Phase four is something that a lot of people don't talk about and that is when the pimples are gone but you still have scarring. Acne will leave you with scarring. Depending on how you dealt with that acne, your scarring will either be a lot, being a whole lot of dark marks all over your face that may have several layers that you have to deal with, or it may be scarring that looks like a scratch that was left on your skin, which is what I had. So I didn't have any dark marks, but I had these little parts that looked like my skin was a little burnt. And honestly, I think it's because I used products that were too harsh for my skin at the wrong phase of my acne journey. So recognize the phase that you are going through because I know, please don't, don't be there just trying to get rid of the acne, just, you know, scrubbing it away. It's not going to scrub away. You're going to leave scarring. And this is going to make phase number four much harder for you. Depending on how you have dealt with your acne, if you were using harsh products in the wrong phase of your, of your acne, you may make that scarring phase last for years. It has been two years since my acne has gone away. And this year I discovered that I still have acne scars and I have to use the right product to deal with those acne scars. I'm personally using the NIMU range and they have given me a skin analysis so that I know what's currently going on with my skin. And it's because of that skin analysis that I found out that, wow, I still have acne scarring and I'm continuing to damage my skin by not using the right products to deal with that scarring. So now that I'm on a NIMU range, that scarring is starting to be dealt with. I have hyperpigmentation, I have scarring, I have scars that look like I've been burnt because I use harsh chemicals on my skin, and I had a bit of oily skin because I was using the wrong products for me. So if you are on the fourth phase, if you had acne before, you may still have scarring to deal with. And all of those things become more evident the older you get. So recognize the phase that you are in and deal with your skin appropriately. Don't scrub off your acne, it's not the way to go. Don't try and burn off all your products or your skin with harsh products. That's just going to make phase four longer than it has to be. And also, if you've had acne before and you're cured from it, remember to deal with the scarring. And lastly, point number eight, maintain a healthy lifestyle. You want to make sure that everything is balanced. From your stress life, yes, you wanna get ahead, but maintain a good level of happiness and calmness to get rid of that acne. Your hormones, if you do need to continuously measure and maintain your hormones, have a good relationship whether it is with your dermatologist or with your gynecologist to make sure that those hormones are balanced and kept under check. 
make sure that you have a good diet. You have your proteins. I take collagen, I'm just saying. You may have your fibers. You want to make sure that you have a good balance of your vegetables as well. Sugar is not your friend. Get rid of as much sugar as you possibly can and make sure that you're having enough water. I know, the one thing that they say when you have acne is, are you drinking water? Yes, we are drinking water. We are drinking water. It helps, yes, and you do still need to take it. It may not be the absolute cure, but when you do have water, everything is 10 times better. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe next time I'll do more on what to use and what to look for when you are choosing your skincare range. Let me know in the comment section down below which skincare questions we have or questions for our self-love Sundays. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Until the next time, give me a big thumbs up. It helps a girl out to know which videos you really love. I'm Kabana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Now when it comes to confidence, it's that extra something that gives you that push to go into whatever opportunities that you need in your life. It helps you to deal with moments where you're not feeling or looking as good as you possibly can. Your confidence can still be right up there. Now if you want to learn how you can build your confidence, head over to my website, gopanashimange.com and download my new ebook, The 7 Hacks to Building Your Confidence. It's completely free, so sign up and get it today.